In Frederick Church's piece, The Icebergs, he depicts romanticism through man's inability to overcome nature. Frederick Church emphasizes nature's dominance rather than man's weakness in his painting. The icebergs in his work take up a large portion of the canvas and show the landscape as rough and ragged. To the right of the painting, there are darker patches of ice and water and look like the area is more frozen over and surrounded by icebergs. The weather in the painting shows obscurity and gloom through the darkened clouds and the ripple of the water in the center of the picture. Although there is not a human being in the painting, the frozen and broken part of the ship in the middle of the painting represents man's attempt to overcome nature. The first symbol in Church's painting to describe the power of nature are the details of the icebergs and landscape. The majority of the painting is covered by the massive, jagged icebergs, which is the main feature of the painting. The size and structure of the icebergs are used in comparison to the broken piece of ship that was once sailing the body of water in the painting. The icebergs are shown in a more dominant view and could possibly be shown in the view of the downfall of the once sailing ship. The darkness in the water and ice in the right of the painting shows that the icebergs probably extend through, the, through that area and grow in harshness and size if someone were to continue. This shows that even if the ship were to make it to the point in the valley of the icebergs, there would still be much left nature to conquer. Another sign in the icebergs that show that nature is of power over man are the ominous clouds and current of the water in the environment. The clouds appear to be lightening up from a darker gray color to a much lighter white. The clouds suggest that a storm may have just occurred, as the clouds are moving away on both sides of the painting and the sky is opening up lighter in the middle. The ripples in the water could have been caused by the storm and eventually dragged a broken piece of shipwreck to the smallest one of the icebergs. Church has the ripples in the water gradually making their way to the icebergs to show that a storm has passed and is now calm. The effects of weather in the icebergs are to show that the aftermath of the storm on human. Frederick Church emphasizes the wreck of the ship to depict man's struggle and inability to tame nature. Through the landscape of the icebergs and the weather of the area, Church draws the aftermath of the storm and its consequences on man. The structure and massiveness of the icebergs are bigger and deadlier than the man, and the ship cannot overcome them. The addition of a furious storm with the icebergs showed that man stood a small chance against the dangers of nature. The small piece of ship that showed that the vessel was shredded into broken pieces and now are somewhere adrift the waters and the forest of icebergs. To depict romanticism, Church uses nature's wrath and strength over man to boldly say that man cannot control nature at this time.